Okay, in the last lecture, uh, I have given an introduction to operational amplifier. Today, we will discuss some of the applications of the operational amplifiers. Before uh, going to the applications, I will discuss the different uh, modes of the operational amplifier. So, you can operate this operational amplifier in either closed loop configuration or open loop configuration. So, as I have discussed in the last lecture that the equivalent circuit of this operational amplifier is Here are the two input terminals, there is usually some input resistance, there will be output voltage, output resistance, and the output will be taken across these two terminals. Here the input is applied, this is the difference voltage. I call this one as V1, V2, Vd is V1 minus V2. This is input resistance Ri, this is output resistance Ro, the output voltage is AOL times Vd. Where AOL is called as open loop gain, as the name implies this in open loop configuration, we will consider the open loop gain. open loop voltage gain. There are some uh, limited applications of uh, this op amp in uh, open loop configuration. So, I will discuss why uh, the open loop configuration is uh, rarely used for uh, operational amplifiers. If I assume that the input voltage V1 is say 10 millivolts and V2 is say 5 millivolts and open loop gain is say 10 to the power of 5. As I have told in case of uh, 741 op amp, this is 2 into 10 to the power of 5. So, normally this open loop uh, gain varies from 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 7. So, what will be the output voltage V naught? V naught is AOL times, if I neglect the drop across this R0, V naught is equal to AOL times Vd. If I use this formula and if I substitute these values, then uh, what will be the output voltage? V naught is equal to Vd is V1 minus V2 which is 5 millivolts into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of 5. So, theoretically it will be 500 volts, but 500 volts is not possible. So, the maximum voltage that we will get uh, at the output of the operation amplifier which is called as the saturation voltage that is equivalent to the power supply voltage. If this is plus Vcc and this is minus Vcc, whatever the output voltage which is greater than Vcc, output will saturate to Vcc only this is what is called saturation voltage. So, on the other hand if I take reverse V 1 is say 5 millivolts and V 2 is 10 millivolts and if I consider the same AOL as 10 to the power of 5 then what will be output voltage supposed to be minus 500 volts, but this will saturate to minus Vcc. Means, the output of the operational amplifier in case of open loop configuration varies between or switches between two states. So, 
plus VCC and minus VCC. Means this will act as a switch. So, you know to operate this operation amplifier for uh, amplification uh, applications, okay. we cannot use this operation amplifier in open loop configuration. Okay. But open loop configuration is having some applications such as the comparator. We know to implement the comparator using op amp, we have to operate this uh, op amp in uh, open loop configuration. Op amp is actually short form of operational amplifier. And second application is a uh, waveform generator. In waveform generator also we can use this uh, operational amplifier in open loop configuration. Okay. Except for that in most of the applications we will use this op amp in closed loop configuration. Okay. So, coming for this closed loop configuration. In closed loop configuration, we are going to use feedback. The drawback of open loop configuration is uh, it will be having a very high gain. So, of the order of 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 7. So, the drawback of this open loop configuration is uh, it will be having high gain. So, which is of the order of 10 to the power of 7. So, in order to reduce that gain, normally we will use feedback. So, in that feedback also we have two types of the feedbacks negative feedback and positive feedback. So, normally negative feedback decreases the gain. This you might have studied in your uh, feedback amplifiers whereas, positive feedback increases the gain. So, this positive feedback will be used in applications such as oscillators, whereas negative feedback will be used in applications such as amplifiers. So, if you take this operational amplifier with uh, negative feedback, there are two uh, important uh, circuits or the amplifiers in negative feedback configuration. So, this amplifiers in negative feedback using op amp or as inverting amplifier. And non inverting amplifier. So, if I consider this uh, inverting amplifier circuit diagram. This is the operational amplifier, this is minus plus, the input is applied at inverting terminal, output is taken from here. This is the output voltage V naught, this you call as a R f R 1. This is the circuit diagram of simple inverting amplifier. Now, here if I assume that operational amplifier is uh, operating in a practical mode, then the analysis will be somewhat difficult. Okay. So, if I take this the equivalent circuit, if I uh, consider this operational amplifier in uh, practical mode. So, this will be the input circuit. So, inside this will be having R i, this will be output resistance, this is the output voltage. This is the way we are going to take output. This is the feedback resistance RF. This is RI, this is R naught, this is plus minus AOL times VD, this is plus or minus output V naught. This is equivalent circuit if op amp is 
practical. So here the analysis will become uh, difficult. So what we'll assume is uh, we'll assume that operation amplifier is ideal. then for a ideal operation amplifier r i is equal to infinity. So, this r i is equal to infinity means this will act as open circuit. Okay. So, that whatever the current flowing through this terminal is 0, this terminal is 0. Suppose the current that is flowing through this will pass through this one, whereas the current through this one is 0, here i is equal to 0 because there is an open circuit here and here also I is 0. So, by assuming that the operational amplifier is ideal, there are two uh, assumptions which are very important in the analysis of any operational amplifier circuit. The first assumption is because this R i is infinity, the current through this inverting terminal as well as non-inverting terminal okay, from here to here, this is 0, this I is equal to 0, this I is equal to 0. So, the current through either terminal is 0, this is one of the important assumption. And second assumption is because this will act as open circuit, the voltage at this point and voltage at this point are same, that is voltage at inverting terminal and voltage at non-inverting terminal is same. Second assumption is the voltage at inverting terminal is equal to voltage at non inverting terminal. And because of this uh, negative feedback, if I properly choose this negative feedback, if this uh, percentage of negative feedback is high, a large amount of this output is fed back to the input, this is feedback, this is feedback, a large amount of this V naught is fed back to the input, then in that case, so whatever the output that we are going to get, okay, so that will be uh, almost equivalent to that of the practical circuit, okay. if the percentage of feedback is high. the error due to ideal assumption, ideal op amp assumption diminishes, means it is decreases, means even though if you assume this op amp as ideal, the amount of the error that we are going to get from the practical op amp and ideal op amp is very, very less. That is negligible. So, that is why, so normally uh, we will uh, assume that op amp is uh, ideal in most of the practical applications in especially uh, for the analysis of the operational amplifier circuits. Okay. So, these are the two important uh, assumptions that we have to assume to analyze any operational amplifier assuming that op amp is ideal. So, now with these assumptions I will derive the expression for the voltage gain of this inverting amplifier. So, the voltage gain of inverting amplifier. This is input V i, this is R 1, this is R f, this is output V naught. So, two basic assumptions are the current through this one is 0, current through this terminal is 0 and the voltage at this point is equal to voltage at this point. So, voltage at this point is 0 volts because this is grounded, 0 volts means this is also 0 volts. 
So, if I assume that this is current I, the entire current will flow through the feedback resistance because the current through this terminal is 0. Okay. So, the voltage gain can be defined as A V output voltage by input voltage. So, in the previous uh, slide we have used A O L which is open loop gain whereas here this is feedback gain A V is the gain with feedback A O L is as the name implies open loop voltage gain whereas this is voltage gain with feedback. So, what is the expression for the current if I consider from here to here this is V i is the voltage minus this voltage is 0 divided by resistance is R 1 this is equal to i. If I consider from this point to this point the current is same i the voltage here is 0 the voltage here is V naught. So, this i is also equal to 0 minus V naught divided by R f. If I consider the input side this is the expression for current, if I consider from the output side this is the expression for the current. Okay. So, if I uh, equate these two what will be this uh, V i is equal to minus R 1 by R f times V naught because this is 0 implies A V which is equal to V naught by V i is equal to minus R f by R 1. So, this is the expression for the voltage gain of operational amplifier with negative feedback assuming that operational amplifier is ideal. If it is a practical op amp then we will get a different expression for this voltage gain which is AVL. Okay. Now, the uh, second important uh, circuit is uh, non-inverting amplifier. as the name implies gain is positive. In case of inverting amplifier the gain was negative now the gain is positive. Now, the signal is applied to the positive terminal this is V i. This will be grounded this is R 1 this is R f and this is V naught output voltage. So, what is the expression for the voltage gain with feedback? Here also if I assume that this current is I here the current is 0 here the current is 0. So, the entire current will flow through the feedback resistance I. Now, here what is the voltage here now is this is short circuit this is V i means voltage here is also V i only the second assumption. First assumption is the current through either input terminal is 0 and uh, the second assumption is uh, the voltage at inverting terminal is equal to voltage at non inverting terminal. So, voltage at uh, non inverting terminal is V i. So, inverting terminal also the voltage is V i. Then what is the expression uh, from the input side for the current i is equal to this is 0 ground 0 minus this side this voltage is V i divided by R 1 whereas output side this is V i and this is V naught. So, i is equal to V i minus V naught divided by the output means feedback resistance is R f. If we equate these two then minus V i by R 1 is equal to V i minus V naught by R f. If you take V i time to this side and V naught time to this side, this happens you take this first R f to this other side. So, V 1 minus V naught is equal to minus R f by R 1 times V i. So, you take this V i time to this side V naught to the other side. So, V i if I take this term to the this side plus R f by R 1 V i is equal to V naught this V naught I am taking to other side 
vi if we take as common this will be 1 plus r f by r 1 is equal to v naught therefore voltage gain a v is equal to v naught by v i which is equal to 1 plus r f by r 1. This is the expression for the voltage gain of non inverting amplifier. Now, we can extend this concept to realize yarder circuit. So, as the name implies as I have discussed in the last lecture, this is operational amplifier. This is amplifier in addition to that this will perform some operations also. So, what are the different operations that will be performed? is the first operation is addition. We can implement this operational amplifier to realize the addition operation. We can use for subtraction, for multiplication, division, many other applications, many other uh, mathematic operations can be performed by using this operational amplifier that is by the name uh, operational amplifier. So, in the earlier days uh, when digital technology was uh, not invented, so this uh, computers used to perform this addition, subtraction, multiplication, division by means of operational amplifier. The olden days computers are based on the analog circuits. So, in those uh, analog computers the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division will be performed by using operational amplifiers. So, now I will discuss how this addition operation will be performed by using operational amplifier. This is called summing amplifier. It will perform some operation as well as it will provide am amplification also. This also can call as adder. I just take a 3 input adder and I will first use this operational amplifier in a non inverting configuration. This is V1, V2, V3. Let this is R1, R2, R3. This is the output voltage V0 and this is the feedback resistance RF. Now, what is the expression for output voltage V0? So, this is uh, similar to uh, inverting amplifier, but in an inverting amplifier we have only this uh, one input only now we have three inputs. Okay. So, there is one famous uh, theorem called superposition theorem you might have shown in circuit theory or network analysis. So, this superposition theorem states that the output corresponds to several sources here I have three sources V1, V2, V3. This will give some output let us call this output as V01. This will give some output say output voltage correspond to only V2 is V02 correspond to a V3 the third input say output is V03. V01 is contribution of V1 only this is contribution of V2 only this is contribution of V3 only then the total voltage V naught corresponding to all the three sources is equal to according to a superposition theorem V 0 1 plus V 0 2 plus V 0 3. Now, I will first find out V 0 1 the output voltage due to V 1 only. So, what you have to do is you have to make the other two 0 according to superposition theorem V 2 is equal to V 3 is equal to 0. Then what will be the equivalent circuit? This is R 1, this R 2, R 3 you have to make as 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is R 1, R 2, R 3, these two you have to make as 0, you have to ground it.
this is the equivalent circuit by considering V2 is equal to V3 is equal to 0. And uh, according to this uh, second assumption that the voltage at this terminal is equal to voltage at this terminal. This is grounded, so this is 0 volts, this is also 0 volts. So, this is also 0 volts. So, between 0 volts we have R2 and R3, this R2 and R3. So, means short circuited in the sense these two R2 and R3 can be removed. So, this is again equivalent to only one single resistance R1, R2 is between the ground and ground means there is no R2. Similarly, R3 is also between the ground and ground, so there will be a short circuit, so there will be no resistance. Then what will be the equivalent circuit? This is only V1, this is R1, this is grounded, this is RF, this output voltage I am calling as this is V01. V01 because this is due to only output voltage V1 only. V1 we are calling as V01. So, now this amplifier is this is exactly same as inverting amplifier whose gain is minus of this feedback resistance by this input resistance which you have derived in the previous slide. So, therefore, what is the expression for V01 minus RF by R1 times the input is V1. Similarly, you can find out the output due to uh, V2 only. V02 minus Rf by R2. Now, this R1 and R3 will be grounded if I take the equivalent circuit. R2 into V2. Similarly, the output due to V3 only, V03 will get as minus Rf by R3 into V3. Therefore, according to this uh, superposition theorem, what is V0 is equal to V01 plus V02 plus V03. So, this is equal to R f is common. So, this is minus of the first output is R f by R 1 into V 1 plus R f by R 2 into V 2 plus R f by R 3 into V 3. If R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to Rf. If I make this assumption, then what will be V0? This Rf by R1 becomes 1, Rf by R2 becomes 1, Rf by R3 becomes 1. So, simply V0 is equal to minus of V1 plus V2 plus V3. You see adding what with uh, minus sign extra. So, in order to remove this minus sign, I want to say V0 is equal to simply V1 plus V2 plus V3, which is addition of these three voltages that will act as the adder. Then, what I have to do? If I connect this output, this is V0 dash, say. So, to get V0, this is V0 dash, to get V0, which is equal to minus of V0 dash. So, this we are calling as V naught dash. So, V naught dash if I apply this is V naught dash if you apply to a circuit whose output if I call as V naught minus plus this is of R and R this is V naught dash. So, what is relation between V naught and V naught dash minus feedback resistance by input resistance both are same. So, this is simply minus V naught dash. So, V naught is equal to minus of V naught dash. So, this minus minus get cancelled we will get V naught is equal to V 1 plus V 2 plus V 3. This here you can uh, implement a summing amplifier. Similarly, you can have a differential amplifier. 
or difference amplifier. Or you can also call as this as subtractor. I have discussed how to implement the addition using uh, operational amplifier. Now, I will uh, discuss how to implement the subtraction using operational amplifier. Let us take simply the subtraction of two signals. This is say V2, this is V1. I will first consider the different uh, resistors. This is say R1, R2, this is R, R dash, and this is output voltage V0. So, what is the expression for the output voltage V0 of this circuit? Okay. So, this you can obtain uh, by using the previous two results which is the gain of uh, inverting amplifier and gain of non-inverting amplifier. Okay. So, as I have told uh, if let V naught 1 is the contribution is the output voltage caused by V 1 only means we have to keep V 2 is equal to 0 and V 0 2 is the output voltage by V 2 only means we have to make V 1 is equal to 0. Then what is V 0 according to superposition theorem V 0 1 plus V 0 2. Okay. First derivation of V 0 1. So, what you have to do for derivation of this you have to keep this uh, V 2 is equal to 0. Set V2 is equal to 0. So, what will be the equivalent circuit? So, this equivalent circuit becomes this V2 becomes 0 grounded. This is V1. This is R1, this is R2, this is R, R dash. This point is grounded. Now, the whatever the output voltage that you will get, this is nothing but V01. Now, how to get the V01 expression? So, what will be the voltage here? Let us call this voltage as V1 dash. So, what is V1 dash? Voltage divider. So, this V 1 is between R 1 and R 2, I am taking the voltage across R 2, this is voltage division, this is equal to V 1 into R 2 by R 1 plus R 2. So, this V 1 is distributed across R 1 and R 2, to find out the voltage across R 2, you have to take V 1 into the same resistance divided by total resistance. Now, this is V 1 dash, according to one of the assumptions this voltage at inverting and non-inverting only is same. So, this is also V1 dash, this is also V1 dash. So, this is V1 dash, now if I neglect this circuit, this is also equivalent to now. This is grounded, this is minus plus, now this is V1 dash. this is R, this is R dash and this is V 0 1. So, what is this circuit now? You can see that this circuit is non-inverting amplifier whose gain is given by 1 plus the feedback resistance by the input resistance. So, what is the expression for V 0 1 is equal to input voltage V 1 dash, it is not V 1, V 1 dash times what is the gain? 1 plus this feedback resistance is R dash divided by the input resistance is R. This is expression for V 0 1 in terms of V i dash, but what is V i dash in terms of V 1? 
this V1 is this. If you substitute this here, what is V01? R2 by R1 plus R2 times 1 plus R dash by R times V1. Now, what is the expression for uh, V02, which is the output voltage due to V2 only? You have to make V1 is equal to 0. Set V1 is equal to 0. So, what will be the equivalent circuit? If V1 is 0, you can refer the previous circuit. So, this was V1, so this I am going to ground now. This is R1, R2. This was V1, I have set to 0, so means grounded. And this circuit remains same. This output will be V02. This is V2, this is R dash, this is R. Now, what will be the equivalent circuit of this? So, because this point is grounded, this point is grounded. Okay. So, this current through this one is 0, this i is 0. Okay. And these two will be between this point and ground, this r1, r2 will be in parallel. Okay. So, what will be the voltage across this? So, the current through this line is 0 and this resistance is R1 in parallel with R2 because between this point and ground R1, which this point and R2 is ground means R2. So, the parallel combination is R1 in parallel with R2, which is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. So, what is the voltage drop across this? Because the current this is 0, 0 into V is equal to Ri, V is equal to this resistance into 0. So, this is equal to 0. So, basically this will be at 0 volts means you can remove this R1 and R2. This is simply whatever the ground potential will be available here because the current through this one is 0. So, this will be equivalent to now. This will be simply grounded. This is R dash, this is R, this is V2 and the output is V02. Now, this simply here this is a inverting amplifier whose gain is minus of feedback resistance by input resistance. Therefore, V02 is equal to minus R dash by R into this voltage is V2. Therefore, total voltage V0 is equal to V01, this is V02, V01 plus V02. V01 we have derived in the last test slide. This is nothing but R2 by R1 plus R2, 1 plus R1 into V1. R2 times 1 plus R dash by R times V1, V2 will be minus R dash by R times V2. Now, here to make this uh, circuit uh, simple, I will assume that R1 is equal to R and R2 is equal to R dash. Then what happens? R1 is equal to R, R dash is equal to R2 is equal to R dash. Then what happens to V0? This R2 is nothing but R dash, R1 is nothing but R, R1 is R, R2 is R dash. And this is anyhow, if I take this R as LCM, R, R plus R dash by R into V1 minus R dash by R V2. So, this R plus R dash, this R plus R dash will get cancelled. So, we will get this one is equal to R dash by R V1 minus R dash by R V2 that is equal to R dash by R if you take as common 
v1 minus v2. Even if I set r dash is equal to r implies output voltage v0 is equal to v1 minus v2 which is subtraction of v1 and v2. So, this circuit will act as a subtractor if I make this resistances r dash is equal to r and r is equal to r1 r dash is equal to r2. This v0 becomes simply v1 minus v2 which is subtractor. Under uh, what condition if r is equal to r1 r dash is equal to r2 or simply 4 resistance are equal. The condition is basically all the 4 resistance are equal. r is equal to r dash is equal to r1 is equal to r2. So, under this condition this will act as a subtractor. So, this is how we can implement the addition and subtraction using operational amplifier. There is one important parameter for this uh, difference amplifier which is called as a common mode rejection ratio CMRR. This is one of the figure of merit of this operational amplifier and uh, this is going to decide uh, how efficiently your uh, amplifier will reject the common mode signals such as noise which is undesired signals okay? that I will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.